The Mesolithic era saw hunter-fisher forager groups thriving right across the continent in a range of environments. We might imagine these pre-farming societies roamed widely, leading a kind of rootless, nomadic existence, but generally speaking, these groups were less mobile than one would think, and of course they tended to live where food could be readily found. For Mesolithic Europeans, that often meant living on the coast, where they gathered shellfish in enormous quantities. We know this in part because of the many shell middens left by these ancient communities. These were mounds of discarded shells placed by the people who harvested them, piling them up over generations until they sometimes grew to enormous sizes. These middens were constructed from Denmark to the British Isles and Ireland down to Portugal, and many have been carefully excavated by archaeologists, revealing a host of fascinating information about the societies who made them. So we know that Mesolithic people gathered, cooked and ate species like oysters, periwinkles and mussels, as well as limpets, whelks, cockles and scallops. Middens also show that Mesolithic Europeans ate crab and lobster. And these middens also contain the bones of fish species like pollock, dogfish, rays and trout. Shellfish and other seafood provided excellent sources of protein as well as other vital nutrients like various fats and micronutrients like iron, zinc, magnesium, B vitamins and vitamins E and D. Middens also show that in places where seals were available, these people consumed them in large quantities. Seals provided useful things like skins, bones and oils, but their meat was also incredibly nutritious and the blubber was an important source of calories. In fact, many of these coastal communities in places like Norway and Denmark specialised in seal hunting, allowing for relatively high population densities. But these coastal groups did not only rely on coastal food sources. The evidence shows they also consumed terrestrial foods like boar, elk, red and roe deer, aurochs and small game. And in the early northern Swedish Mesolithic they also ate reindeer, of course, not all Mesolithic groups lived on the coast. The famous site of Star Car in North Yorkshire, England, was a lakeside location surrounded by woodland where generations of people ate mammals like roe deer, beaver, badger and hedgehog, as well as birds like the great crested grebe, the common crane and the lapwing, as well as freshwater fish species. Now, not all animal remains at sites like this were necessarily used primarily for food. Some species might appear because their fur or feathers were wanted, although even in these cases surely the meat was also consumed. 